This is a video clip from GCSE Higher Practice Exam Paper 1A from MassTutor.biz and MassDVDs.co.uk. I'm going to be working through this question number one, which I'm sure you'll find quite easy, if not very easy. But they are the sort of questions you must make sure you get right to get your high score in the exam. So here we go. Higher Practice Examination Paper 1A, Question 1. Question 1. Work out a quarter added to a fifth. Now if you add or subtract fractions, the bottom numbers, or denominators they're called, must be the same. You can't add fractions together if the denominators are different. So let's make these both 20s. We want the lowest number that both 4 and 5 go into, and that's 20, and that's called the lowest common denominator. One quarter is the same as something twentieths. One fifth is the same as something twentieths. We look at the bottom number, the bottom number has been multiplied by 5, and the top number must be multiplied by the same thing, 5. Whatever the bottom has been multiplied by, you must multiply the top by the same. So 4 fives are 20, and 4 ones are 4. 5 twentieths and 4 twentieths is 9 twentieths. Always look at the answer carefully just to see if it will cancel. Now I've taken a long time to answer that. I've explained everything about it. And that's what I intend to do, answering all the questions on this paper and all the other papers, is to explain fully how the question is answered. Now if you actually find the answer extremely easy and you've worked it out ages ago and you want me to hurry up, I'll spin through, just get to the answer. But you could well learn something along the way if you listen to my explanations. I promise I won't go on as much as this next time. But also, while we're going through it, I think we need to mark them so you can see where the marks come from. Now do remember, you're looking for the total marks altogether. So you want to get as many of the easier questions, or the ones that you find easy, right. This is actually worth two marks. One mark for how you do it, and that's called the method mark. And one mark for the answer, and that's called the accuracy mark. Now again, as I go through, I will show you all the marks for all the questions, but I won't take as long as this explaining it. Method marks, answer marks, accuracy marks, getting it right marks. Method marks are showing you how you do it. You should always show the examiner how you've done the question, or virtually always. I must admit there are some times when it's in fact not easy to show how you did it, because it's so obvious. That's a dangerous word, obvious. I'll try not to use that again. I apologise for being a long time over answering that one question. 